Hello, beautiful souls and happy equinox. This is going to be an energy activation and a guided meditation, channeling the energy of the equinox, no matter where you are in the world, if it's spring or if it's fall, I'll be channeling that energy into the session as I take you through a guided meditation so that you can receive whatever you most need at this time. It's going to be a little different. Uh, you will experience it like any other meditation or activation that I do if you want to. Um, but what I have done for this particular activation today is I have uh, done several rituals on the behalf of anybody who is open to receive the energy of it. So working with candles and crystals and I even go outside and I channel the energies of nature um, and I've videoed everything that I'm doing. So you can watch it, uh, but you absolutely can just close your eyes and allow yourself to receive. I will tell you everything that I'm doing, allow you to receive the energy of it always for your highest and best good. So I would invite you, if you wanted to watch it, then you can, but if you just want a regular meditation, just sit or lie down, close your eyes, allow yourself to receive. As I said, I will be channeling the energy of the equinox into this as well. So if you're open to receive the energy, that is always going to be for your highest and best good in complete alignment with what you're ready for, your intentions, your desires. If you're open and receptive to receive that today, just say yes. And I take a moment now to connect to you energetically. As I am connecting energetically to begin this channeling, I invite you to set your equinox intentions, both what you are ready to let go of and release, the energy that was of this past season that you're not carrying with you, as well as what you are ready to harvest or to see bloom in your life, what you're ready to manifest. Take a few moments to set those intentions and then we'll go through the rest of this process. As you continue to set your intentions, or if you're finished, just simply relax and receive. I am energetically protecting your space. We are calling in and invoking the violet flame to clear out your space and your energy field of anything that is lower vibrational, not in alignment with your intentions. Calling in your team of guides, angels, ancestors, benevolent beings of light to surround you, to assist you today. Also calling in the presence of benevolent nature spirits 
to assist us in this session. Those wise elders, the fairies, the gnomes, all beings who are benevolent, who want to assist us to help us usher in this new season. The tree spirits, the flower spirits, the animal spirit guides. And these guides know which one can assist you most and how they can assist you most. So if you're open and receptive to also receive their assistance, just consent to it in your mind's eye saying yes. I'm calling in the rabbit spirit totem. It's associated with the spring equinox primarily, but you can use it no matter where you are because it represents fertility, rebirth, newness, abundance. So calling in this spirit totem, this animal totem, allowing ourselves to receive the energy of fertility, whatever that means for you, abundance, prosperity, receiving the light codes and the frequency of this now, aligning your energy with it as well. And we thank all of the assistants from the rabbit, spirit animal, these nature spirits, as they continue to help us, to guide us. And I'm beginning the session today by lighting two candles, a black candle and a white candle. During this period of time where there are equal amounts of dark and light, we're lighting the candles to represent that. And this black candle represents any of those shadows, the duality that you may have been experiencing or witnessing, the contrast, now this duality and this contrast has shown you more about who you truly are, more about what you truly desire to experience at this point in time. But if you are ready, it's time to let go of that shadow energy that may have been entangled, intertwined, permeating, creating resistance, so as this candle burns down on your behalf, we allow the light, the flame of this candle to transmute any of those lower vibrational, undesired energies, clearing out your energy field, clearing out your mental body, clearing out your reality as our reality is a reflection of our consciousness. So we allow this black candle to burn down on our behalf. The light representing the light of source, the light of truth, burning away all those illusions. What are you releasing? You can even imagine that you are sending it all into the flame of this candle where it is instantly alchemized. Sometimes a part of us feels like we need to continue to hold on to certain aspects. 
But the message I'm getting is that it's time to be free. You do not need this. You do not need the challenges, the struggles, the resistance, the doubt, the fear programs. Can you let it go now? Allowing the flames to clear it away. I'm also feeling Archangel Uriel being very present during this. He is the angel of light. He is helping you alchemize all that is not in alignment. Clearing it out of your field. Take a deep breath in, a long exhale for that final release. And now the white candle that is burning on your behalf is a candle that ignites the light within you, allows it to expand. This is the candle of pure potential, of purity, allowing the energy of this to wash through your field, purifying your field, bringing you back to your truth, Feeling your light shine as brightly as you want to shine it, knowing you are protected. And send into the flame of this candle your intentions, because this candle represents pure potential. It represents all possibilities, that zero point of creation. You have already released. Now use this white candle. Send in your intentions into the flame. And as you send it into the flame, this candle works on your behalf, igniting these within your consciousness, lighting them up, lighting up the perspectives, the mindsets, the guidance, the actions that are needed to manifest this in your reality, in your physicality. It's magnetizing all of your desires to you. As you become this beacon of light and everything that you desire, it's like moths to a flame, but in the most aligned, harmonious way, ideal for all involved. And you are being invited to feel into your magnetism. Feel into your worthiness, your deservingness, your desirability. And if there's any resistance to this, allow the energy of this flame to lovingly transmute the resistance. Because the truth is if you choose to accept this, and it's always your choice what truths you choose to accept and not accept. But it is my belief that in this oneness, this unity consciousness, what you desire desires you. What you desire already exists. And so there's no chasing, there's no wanting, but there's allowance, allowing yourself to just align with it. Mm -hmm. 
And now still in the nature of the black and the white, I am channeling through me now the energy of the yin yang. The yin, the dark side representing that feminine energy, and the yang representing the masculine, the yin representing the moon, the yang representing the sun. We're in this season. We are being invited and encouraged to move forth in this state of active flow. And in this state of active flow, you are a conscious creator, you are taking action, but you're doing so from a state of flow. And so I am channeling this energy of both of these into you now, this active flow. Receiving action, taking it, whether that is in your physical reality, whether that is with your focus or your mental body, but also allowing yourself to surrender and flow in this co-creative process allowing yourself to be assisted, to be guided, knowing you're not doing this alone, allowing yourself to receive that support from the divine always. And as you are soaking up this energies, I am now lighting rosemary to really clear out your energy field. You can visualize sacred smoke surrounding you, clearing out the rest of your energy field, everything from that last season that you're not taking with you, visualizing the sacred smoke, taking it up to the heavens where it is transmuted and neutralized. I am channeling energy through a selenite wand to continue with this purification, with this energy cleanse, really doing that deep spring or fall cleaning, just letting it all go, everything that you are not taking with you, everything that doesn't serve you, letting it go, allowing the energy to work on your behalf. Up until this point, there has been a lot of fogginess and we're clearing that out now so that from this, the beginning of this new season, you move forth in a state of clarity, clearing out any fog, any confusion. Take a deep breath in, exhale out, just let it all go. One final release. I'm holding now an amethyst and channeling the energy of the amethyst into your third eye, opening up your third eye, allowing yourself to receive any and all clarity that you need at this time and moving forward. Just surrender, allow yourself to receive. You might Get the clarity now, downloads now. They may come after this session. I'm now holding a rose quartz and channeling the energy of the rose quartz into both your heart chakra and your high heart chakra. These are portals. We are 
being encouraged to open up these chakras and receive guidance, energy, light codes through these portals. Breathing into your heart, allowing it to be cleared, allowing your heart space portal, this temple in the core of your being to be open and receptive in a way that you're ready for and is aligned for you. placing this rose quartz down as I put one hand on your sacral chakra and one hand on your solar plexus. Activating these chakras so that in this season you can move forward in that state of flow, that active flow state, receiving just naturally any guidance, any actions that you need to take, opening up your space of creativity. The sacral chakra is associated with birth, birthing the new as your flowers bloom, as you reap your harvest. Just sending a quick energy alignment to all of your energy centers now. And we are moving now to the next stage of this session and the next ritual that I've done on your behalf. I am holding 10 sticks and you can visualize 10 sticks in your mind's eye. I got this idea from MC Warrior of the Light. Around the beginning of the new year, I channeled the Ten of Wands energy, and I felt that strongly for the collective. The Ten of Wands in the tarot shows a man being burdened with Ten Wands, all of these burdens that he's been holding on to. But the Ten represents being at the finish line, being there completing one phase and stepping into that freshness, that new beginning. But in the Ten of Wands, he's there, but he's still carrying all that, all the burdens, all that weight that's really unnecessary. And so what I'm doing on your behalf, and this is the part that was inspired by MC of the Warrior, I like because he did this around the, um, the new year when I channeled that card. He took 10 sticks each with burdens and he threw them into a river, physically releasing them. So I'm doing this on your behalf. I'm going to take these 10 sticks and I'm going to release them for you, symbolizing all the burdens, all the weight that you are freeing yourself from. So I want to give you a little bit of time before I release these for good, just to bring to mind what these 10 wands, what they represent to you, the burdens, the weight, the challenges, what are you ready to let go of that extra baggage?
You can just imagine all that energy pouring into these sticks, letting it all go, freeing your energy field from it. And on the count of three, I'm going to release these, symbolizing you being completely free from them. In three, two, one, release. And as I toss them into the water, the water instantly purifies, alchemizes, cleanses all of that energy. Just exhale and sink deeper into a state of relaxation and freedom from these burdens. Feel and visualize the element of water washing through you, washing away any last remnants of them. And the water refreshes you. It's like if you were hiking or camping and you were really dirty and then you finally got a shower and how refreshed you feel after that. Channeling that energy, a beautiful energy shower. Beautiful. And for the final part of this session today, I am here in nature and I am channeling the lushness of nature through me into you. Channeling the infinite abundance, the new growth, the blossoming. You have planted your seeds and now they are blooming, they're blossoming. So as I am channeling this energy into this session, visualize, feel in your mind's eye, your blue. You can even see in your mind's eye all of your intentions right here, right now, not in the future, in this season, right now. You can see them blooming. You can see them manifesting. You can see the lushness of your harvest that is here for you now. What does that look like? What does that feel like? Nature naturally flows with the cycles. So as I am channeling the energy of nature, allow her to give you the frequency, the energy that you need to naturally flow into this next cycle. Nature never says, I don't think I'm worthy. I don't believe that flowers are going to bloom this year. I really want them to, but I just, I don't believe it. Nature never says that. Nature allows the flowers to bloom when they're ready. And you are ready. So allow her to give you what you need to fully allow this new season. Letting go of that human resistance. Surrendering to this new season. To the natural cycle that you are entering.
in your mind's eye, you see the rabbits and you see the butterflies, you see the animals and the plants all just flowing, not holding themselves back. A butterfly doesn't stop itself from flying because it doesn't think its wings are pretty enough. Allowing all of this to give you what you need to free yourself Free yourself from anything that might create resistance, delays, blocks, allowing yourself to flow, to fly, to receive, to be here. Allowing our perspectives to open with a sense of curiosity as this new season unfolds naturally and beautifully for us. I'm now beginning to ground in this session, calling in the energy of Mother Earth, calling in the energy of the trees to channel through me into you, receiving their grounded energy. Allowing all that we did during the session to integrate, ground in to your being. Feeling roots growing down from the bottoms of your feet, the base of your spine, connecting to Mother Earth. Feeling these roots connected to all. To all of Earth, the plants, the animals, the people, everything. Grounding into that unity, consciousness. And as we do this, it is symbolic of you grounding in this new season. You are here. So we're just sending energy to clear out your space, anything you may have released being cleared away, alchemized now. I'm disconnecting from this session, so be it and so it is. Thank you for going through this process today. I intend that you have a beautiful day, a beautiful new season, sending you so much love. Extensive healings are always linked below and I will talk with you next time.